Welcome to the another episode of Abstract Thesis series. In this series, we are digging deep into the Power BI concepts. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for our new video. Welcome to the another video of Abstract Thesis series. We are continuing our journey of learning advanced concepts and we were looking into tenant admin settings and we have explored quite a few settings now. Now the time has come that we look into some of the settings where we are sharing the content. We have already looked into the content, you know, with the external sharing and one of the external sharing which we did not cover last time was public, publish to web. Now this publish to web is a setting which is very cautiously need to be used because publish to web allows you to, you know, uh, give the data access to the external without any login control and anything. And that's why I kept it separate that, you know, uh, uh, it is not just an external user which is having a login it is actually uh, public uh, domain access where you know reports uh, do not require even authentication sometimes uh, so and uh, so how you do it basically uh, on every report you have you know option to share and then you can have embed code and inside that you can say publish to web now publish to web could be really really tricky now and you need to uh, you know uh, be very careful while allowing this permission typically it should be only allowed to very selective set of people and the recommended setting is not to allow to all of them ideally you should not allow we have enabled and allow the existing code now what happened this feature has later come in place so there was already code which has been shared or allow to existing and new code so previously what has been shared if you want to do that or allow existing and new code so we have say allow existing and new codes uh, that you know people can still share apply to entire organization specify security group accept uh, specific security group uh, then these are the normal setting but I think you should specify the security group which can share it right now because in my login I typically have the content which is kind of a, a, on public data only so I can actually manage with this setting but you should not have that and you should need to be very careful while do, doing this because this will allow you to share the report and publish to web. Now the another setting which we want to discuss is the copy paste visual. A user in the organization can copy paste visual or the tile uh, and then you know a static image on the external application. So in this setting what happens you know you copy the tile or the image and then you can actually paste it on somewhere there. But I think this setting should be allowed because this will otherwise you know um, limit the user uh, productivity because they have to do something other things if they want to share image and etc. So this setting should be allowed but yes if there are uh, uh, there are certain set of user you want to disable it you can provide it to a set of security group or can remove certain set of user and I think more thing is that you know you should tell user you know what to share what not to share. Now the next setting is very important excel setting now excel setting is one which is basically uh, you know export so this is export to excel now export to excel allows whether you are want people to allow to export to excel or not export to excel is enabled with the uh, the uh, security which we call the um, we can have sensitivity label uh, with this so this is a much better option than the csv which is coming below now ideally this uh, for the productivity of the people you should allow this to entire organization otherwise there would be a lot of effort required if they need some kind of data dump for this up uh, this thing so I think this should be enabled but now the export to CSV is the one which you should be worried about see because it's already written there if the report or the underlying data set hasn't has been applied sensitivity label the label protection setting such as encryption won't be applied to the exported CSV data please remember the encryption doesn't apply the sensitivity label doesn't apply it means this is a violation which can happen if you are very much a particular about sensitivity labels so disable this if you are having sensitivity labels or encryption where you don't want now download reports now user and organization can download the pbix i think this setting uh, should be restricted to certain set of people but it can actually reduce you know productivity because what amount of time what happens people download that pbix improve upon and again publish it but uh, there are better methods like sharing the PBIX on SharePoint and all those and because uh, downloading uh, this uh, might not be a great idea. Uh, so you should be allowing this to selective set of people but most of the time organization allow the PBIX to be downloaded uh, by most of the people who are there in the organization. 
okay now allow live connection now this has been setting has been provided whether you wanted to allow the live connections or not now live connection has been extended from the azure analysis services to the power bi data set and if you are the one who wanted to analyze power bi data set and it include analyze in excel also so it is not only about the live connect it is also about analyze in excel so if you disable this this will not only disable you from analyzing the live data sets but it will also disable uh, the analyze in excel feature so you need to um, be very sure if you are disabled it but i think most of the organization should enable it or at least should enable it for the uh, authors who are creating the new content or analyze and if people who are analyzing the excel or doing analyze in excel so for them it should be enabled now export report uh, to the uh, powerpoint and presentation and pdf document and you know uh, this is again one permission which where you can export it to powerpoint and pdf if you look at the report we, when you have the uh, if you have option it to download or share you know in powerpoint or pdf format so those permissions would be controlled by this so now this is again uh, we know sensitivity labels applies here so you know you should be able to do this very easily now now there is export report as mhtml document this is uh, the setting which is you know uh, export the paginated report this is for based specifically for the paginated report and you might have uh, seen the latest updates where you can have now paginated report uh, can be drilled down from the main P um, power by report so it's very important setting that you control what can be exported using the paginated report so setting for paginated report and paginated report will have more lower and granular level of data so should be very careful whom you should allow uh, i think for better productivity you can assign it to the entire organization but uh, you should think about and you should implement the organization policy here now enable uh, as the word document so again for the paginated report do you want them to export as a word document i think one of the setting you can allow uh, users to you know export the report into the word file uh, uh, and then they can actually do certain modification if they want and you know share it with sensitivity label should also apply to the export report if they are coming from the uh, sources now export report as xml document again for the paginated report if you are exporting that xml document whether you should be able to do that or not that is another one now export report as an image preview now this setting has come as a preview where you know you users and organization can export the report to api uh, to a report which export is as image file now report underlying data set has applied sensitivity label the label protection won't be applied so please remember that this way of exporting will not be controlled by sensitivity label so you need to be a bit more careful i think should should be disabled uh, again thing my advice would be but uh, you can enable it and give selective access to the people uh, if you enable it there is a selective set of again the same three way entire organization security group or accept security group you can choose one of them and do it now uh, there are a few more settings which I think uh, we will cover into our next video. Uh, there are a few more set security settings. So I think these are few security settings which you can have a look at it and try those out and see what is their impact. You can actually go to a report in Power BI. There are export op Power BI service basically. There are export options which you can try. If you are a premium customer, you will have uh, access to create and uh, publish paginated reports. So you can publish a paginated report and can try to explore those options if you are not a ppu you can actually go ahead and try you know uh pry premium for free for what that you need to be at least a pro customer if you are the, there then you can go ahead and try that out and can check it out how paginated report and all those things work so go ahead and try these settings out in the another video we'll cover next few settings thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you